This is an outline given to me by StopTech for their new C43 Big Brake Kit. And today I'm going to show you how to measure Big Brake Kit wheel clearance. So this template was given to me by StopTech and it has a theoretical design of the caliper outline as well as the rotor outline. Sorry, my page is like super bent up. It also has a bunch of reference measurements over here. Now, basically, if you can go on StopTech's website and get this printout for a lot of their BBKs and caliper designs, but you're gonna print this out, and then all you need to do is use a cross-reference. So you're gonna look at one of these measurements, say, for example, this one, which is 180.5 millimeters. You're gonna take a tape measure, and then verify that this is 180.5 millimeters, give or take. And then you're gonna do the same thing for width. So in this case, I picked this, inside inside measurement, which is 25.8 millimeters. And again, confirmed it with the tape measure that it was 25.8 millimeters. Uh, basically, you're doing that to ensure that your printout is basically 100% accurate to real life scale. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to put the camera down for a second and then cut out this template. So this is the template cut out. Basically, uh, you follow the dashed lines and then cut around the corners. Uh, I thought it would be prudent to leave small gaps around the dashed lines just as like a um, measurement of error because basically this is your caliper clearance to your wheel and having that extra one to two millimeters just gives you that extra assurance that your wheels will fit over your big brake kit. Uh, you'll notice though that this is rather floppy, it's just printer paper. So StopTech actually recommends using a piece of cardboard and basically attaching the template to the cardboard to make it more rigid because a brake caliper is obviously rigid. So let me cut out this piece of cardboard, I'll be right back. Okay, this is my final creation. Uh, I basically just put the template over a piece of thick cardboard and started cutting around the template. Uh, I had to use a um, sort of cutting tool slash razor blade to kind of get in the little finite corners, but overall pretty simple. And then I just taped it on there, it just doesn't move around or flex. So now we have our caliper template. Let's go measure some wheels. Okay, so I have our big brake kit template and I have a few wheels put in front of me. This is a stock Civic SI wheel. This is a 17 by eight Enki RPF one with a plus 35 offset. And this is a 17 by eight TSW wheel with a plus 40 offset. So all we can do now is take each wheel, flip it face down, and then put our template in like this. So basically this section sits right here in the hub and then basically you look and see does it clear the barrel, which it does. Does it clear the spoke, which man is that super close in this TSW wheel. I mean that's that might be like a like millimeter or two of clearance. Let's try the RPF1. Now RPF1s are a bit of a sticking point in the community because the flat face, the bubble, the, or just the bubble face wheels, the ones that are less than nine inches wide, tend to have way more wheel clearance than the not, ones that are nine inches wide or wider, just because the face changes at that, at that point. So this is a 17 by eight, so I'm guessing it should have enough clearance. So 17 by eight, let's see what we got. And look at that with a 17 by eight plus 35 offset. This clears all day, about five millimeters of clearance from the spoke and plenty from the barrel. Last but not least is the stock Civic SI wheel. I'm pretty much guaranteed that this is not going to clear the StopTech big brake kit just because the offset's relatively high and the spokes are pretty flat, but let's find out. Okay, stock Civic SI wheel. Big brake kit template. And uh, yeah, that's actually like in between the spokes. Like that's not even close. So if you're gonna wanna run OEM wheels with this C43 BBK, you're gonna need like a one inch spacer it looks like. Bummer. All right guys, so that is how you do a basic test fit for a big brake kit. Uh, I wanted to reiterate that there is no one size fits all solution for big brake kits. As you saw, uh, wheels that even have close offsets from the same width do have totally different 
big brake kit clearance, and that's mainly a function of the spoke design, whether it's flat or bubble face, whether the spokes themselves are thick or thin. So you're, you are definitely gonna want to print off a template like this and test fit before you buy your BBK and then find out that your sweet wheels do not clear. Uh, it's worth noting that on those TSW wheels in particular, the clearance was very tight between the caliper and the spoke of the wheel. Now, StopTech in particular recommends at least two millimeters of clearance between the spoke and the caliper. And that's basically to account for um, flex and deflection in the hub, which is obviously, or the upright, however you want to call it, which is obviously where the caliper and brakes are bolted onto. That way, if you have any sort of movement in that hub and the brake calipers do flex or move, you're not going to contact the wheel because obviously that could break a wheel and that would end up in a very bad way for you. So, yeah, I think that's what I got there. Uh, print off the template. StopTech gives them out for most of their products and I guess most other manufacturers probably do too. Just contact their tech support. Test fit before you buy your EBPA and go out there and have fun and enjoy your cars. Thanks for watching. Bye. Next time on Project Honda Civic SI. Hello everyone, in today's episode of Project Honda Civic SI, I'll be checking out the all-new StopTech C43 Big Brake Kit for the 8th Generation's Honda Civic SI.